is our beautiful female Trinity, the mother of our Mortal Kombat litter. But man, guys, if it ain't one thing, it is another. And that's because you guys can see, man, we got our boy Razor's kennel wide open. He has not popped out yet. You see, he's kind of favoring that paw. Looks like he got stung or scratched it or something like that. So I'm gonna get it checked out. I know it's hard to kind of see the size of these dogs from the video, but man, look how wide this boy is. Wide, wide, super wide. What's going on, buddy? I'm sorry, man. <sighs> Man, it's always something, bro. It's always something. I'm hoping it's good. Something super simple. It's a simple scratch, but we're gonna find out. Checked in, we're just waiting for them to come out, get them checked out. And I got the muzzle on just to be safe. I think that's one thing that uh, Rottweiler owners and big dog owners in general need to do. Uh, when you're going to the vet and you're going somewhere, you know, some people aren't used to these type of dogs, man, and they're gonna be afraid of them. So the best thing to do, muzzle them up, you know, when you're getting checked out, going to the vet, anything like that, just muzzle them up. Okay. If it is one of those weird times where your dog reacts to something, um, you know, or gets nervous or, you know, uneasy and does want to react, snap or anything like that. Um, you know, you guys are kind of protected, man. Because one of these big boys snap and grab a hold of you is going to be definitely on you. You know, these big dogs do not get a pass like the Chihuahuas and these other little dogs that are nip you and grab your ankle, you know. These big boys ain't getting no pass, man. He grab you, he gonna take you with him, man. The whole thing with him. Believe that. Um, but, yeah, guys, we're just waiting for our uh, vet to come out and give us our initial idea of what he thinks going on. As you can see, man, we're a little swollen for sure. And it could be nothing, man. He could have just jumped down from being on one of the kennels and, you know, landed funny, twisted it up. But I'd rather be safe than sorry, man. And make sure that this boy stays 100% happy and healthy. You guys know, man, he is our premier stud here currently, the big boy that's working. Man, man, man. Razor is going to be a okay. Um, second thing is that you guys know I was talking about the muzzle and those type of situations that could happen when your dog is in pain. Well, today we had one, and uh, for all of you guys who have actually had the pleasure of meeting Razor in person before he got to my kennel, you guys know the type of dog um, that Razor was before, so you guys know that Razor is hype, he had a lot of drive. And he turned up, man. He super turned up. He was a kennel dog, um, you know, so I wouldn't expect anything other than him, you know, being that way previously. Um, but today, like I said, he ended up showing his tail in there. Um, the vet went to touch that paw and he's A-OK -okay with me touching it, but the vet touched it and uh, spazzed out a little bit, you know, which is which is common. It's normal. Um, it's obviously expected, especially when a dog is in pain, a dog of this size and you go to get the touching touching those sore and tender areas it's gonna happen but again guys this is why it's very important to always protect yourself protect your dog and protect anybody and everybody around you in these type of situations so i thank god that i am smart enough to keep a muzzle on my dog because if i would have went in there like some other people and saying oh no he's nice and friendly he don't bite you know you're good to go 
that would have been a bad situation, guys. So make sure you guys must. One thing I'm gonna say again, guys, man, owning dogs is not cheap. And especially, you know, when you're a breeder and you have, you know, more than one or two or three dogs at your camp, you never know what can happen. So you guys need to make sure you guys are 100% prepared and ready um, when you are getting into being a breeder as well as getting a dog. Because man, when I tell you these prices that they were throwing at me today were astronomical. Um, you know, luckily I ended up on the low end so it didn't get crazy. You know, but our, our high end, you know, was a little bit over a thousand dollars, which in some cases, I know you guys see them on Craigslist. You know, that's the average going price, you know, for just a regular dog, you know, a regular Rottweiler, you know, maybe with papers, uh, most likely not at that price point. But yeah, guys, we almost ended up spending, you know, the average price of a standard regular puppy um, on Craigslist today, which is a thousand dollars just on a random day. You know, he was great yesterday last night everything was good to go and this morning you know we have this issue right here man and uh one thing i wanted to take to touch base on you know is uh you know getting paid as a breeder uh, some of you may know but most of the time when breeders actually really get paid is by puppy sales you know everything else that happens in between you know deposits a lot of people use deposits for you know the day-to-day -day, whether it be dog food or anything just just for the regular day-to-day -day. you know that stuff right there usually um you know the breeder does not get paid uh, the breeder usually typically only gets paid when puppies go home so in my case as you guys can see um we didn't have a litter for a complete year but we have a litter here now so that'll tell you man i have not got a true paycheck you know a true paycheck in over you know a year a little bit over a year now so guys when you get into this dog game do not think it's gonna be super you know quick easy you, you pay a couple hundred dollars bro and you, you make a hundred thousand dollars it does not work that way and you're definitely gonna take a few l's along the process yeah you will have those wins but guys you de most definitely will have a few l's like i've had myself um you guys see me win as well man but one thing you won't see me do is quit um, because I am a natural dog man. Even if I wasn't a breeder, I would always have dogs. I've always had dogs before. Um, and that's one thing about me that's never going to change. But we're now headed to Lowe's. Now that we know our boy is good, we're gonna head to Lowe's. We're gonna pick up some more be uh, puppy bedding um, so we can make sure our pups stay nice and clean. So let's get pulled up to Lowe's and we actually gonna leave a car on for him. I know some of you guys are probably like, man, you're crazy for leaving the car on. Why don't you just roll the window down or even take him inside? Uh, somebody might take your car, man. And I'm sitting here thinking like, it's gonna take a bad man to get up in here and take this car. Uh, even with Razor being down, you gotta be a bad man to jump in the car with this boy. I'm telling you, man, he is he is no joke. Um, he is real, he is all pressure. Um, and he is serious about his business. <laughs> but we go ahead and leave the car on for him, keep the AC jumping. Let's go ahead and grab this stuff real quick. And with this 11 pack, man, this is gonna be the type of wagon I need to pull them puppies into the vet when it's time to do our eight week checkup. But this is the cedar bedding. You guys know this is the only stuff I like to use. It's 11.99 at Lowe's. We'll grab, last time we came, I think we grabbed two bags and it lasted us about two weeks. Um, so we'll grab three, let's grab three. We're almost done with the pups, but I always like to Grab an extra just in case, especially towards the end of the story. Stop. I know my son's gonna be mad because he loves coming here, looking at the fish in the pond. We gotta get us some new rocks. We gotta grab pea gravel uh, for our kennel area. And then we have to get just regular rocks for our yard area. You guys know over time, throwing away poop, picking up poop, um, you would end up throwing enough rocks away to have to replace them. So we'll see what they got for us today. I'm not seeing any pea gravel though. 